Welcome back. Uh, in the next few episodes, I'm gonna do some mini reviews of some mini lathe tooling and accessories that I purchased to, to improve on what came with the lathe in the first place. As I mentioned in the previous test cut video, the final unboxing and setup video, I guess I would call it. Um, a lot of the tooling that it came with is, and, I, and maybe, again, maybe I used too hard of material, but I chipped, I chipped this material, these, these tooling. So I went ahead and ordered some, some new, new tooling in order to help improve hopefully the hardness and, and the ability of cutting things like bolts. This is the stock that I have. I don't have, you know, I don't have a lot of material at home. This is all new to me. So I got to use what I have. And, uh, you know, although I did face this and, and it, it did work, it, it kind of damaged a couple of uh, the tools that came with it. So I thought, you know, let's go ahead and get something to improve this. And what I chose... Again, I'm sure I'll get more as time goes on, but what I chose was just off of Amazon, I got some indexable um, tooling that I, it's carbide, it's supposed to be carbide tips. And so this is gonna give me three, three different corners in order to work with on each of the, this tooling. And I'll likely use a couple more than others, but uh, I kind of look forward to seeing what, what these can do. It came in a cardboard box and it came with a couple of these little wrenches. They're just, uh, uh, you know, it's just a little grub screw that screws on and came with some extra grub screws. Um, there's five extras. And I'm gonna get, depending on how well this stuff cuts and, and performs, I'm gonna purchase some additional head uh, cutting, indexable cutting uh, tooling for these. I, I really hope that these work well. Um, we're gonna find out, we'll do some additional test cuts later, but for now, um, we're gonna see how these go. But that's what comes with it, two wrenches and the tooling. I guess one last thing that I'll do is I'll show you some actual measurements so that you can get an idea of how big. I mean, you can see with my hand, is this isn't very big stuff. It's the same dimensions as uh, as far as the tool holders that came with this. I was kind of hoping they were a little bigger, but I guess three eighths is three eighths, right? But um, get my Ave my Ave uh, ruler out. And if you look, the, the wrenches are, oh, about three and a quarter, three and a quarter long, the tooling, let's take one of these out of there again, is about two and a half, two and three quarter long by the time you get to the end. So just to give you an idea of the, of the dimensions of the tooling. And then the overall package, uh, you got four and a quarter by a little over three. So give you an idea how, how big this stuff is. I just got these off of Amazon. If you search for indexable mini lathe tooling, you know, these things come up. I could post a link if there's any comments where people want to know what I bought. Um, but there you go. Not much to it. Uh, new, a different video will be me demonstrating the cutting of this material. But for now, uh, that's that's an add-on that I purchased for this to hopefully improve the, the cutting of, of what came with it. I'm gonna go ahead and add this onto the end of the, of the tooling video with the indexable uh, carbide bits. I went ahead and got some a centered drill bit set. I, this came off of Amazon. Can't say I'm totally impressed with how this arrived it came like this and it came kind of all crushed up there's bits of plastic from the case that came out of here uh, I could send it back but honestly it's the 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 tooling is okay 
I'm not sure that I, how much I, I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind the case to be functional, but that's kind of what you get when Amazon ships in a plastic bag. Um, but let's just check the tool, the tooling. If the tooling's fine, I don't see any reason to send them back. Um, but I needed some center, centering drill bits in order to get started on some of the material. But other than some plastic chips from the case that it came in, uh, they seem to be fine. I'm just looking for any chips or cracks. These look, look fine. Check them all out. It's all high-speed steel. I did, again, I'm just trying to get started with some additional tooling, flexibility. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money right at once. I know over time I will gather and accumulate additional accessories, but for now, I just need some some options to to get started with. There's number three. The the, the bits are fine. There's no damage to them, so. I'm not going to worry too much about it. There's a number two and a half. Again, bits are fine. There's a, a two. That would be one and a half. And I guess this would be a one. So these bits are fine. I'm just gonna not worry too much about a plastic case. It's just not worth the time and effort to ship them back. That'll conclude <laughs> this video finally of the, the additional tooling and the high speed bits.